Good afternoon. Hello. We are very, very excited about this show because we have our Leticia here with us. Hello, Leticia. Hello. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. Now, of course, Leticia is a brand new face here at Hochanda, and of course, it, you know, Chorus Little Shop is your own company, isn't it? It is, and it's basically one woman band. It's only me. But it, <laughs> this is what we love here at Hochanda because we kind of our buyers work very, very hard to find all these amazing little companies and big companies around the world, and of course and find super talented people like yourself, <laughs> Leticia. You. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about you and how you started Chorus Little Shop? Yeah, so basically, um, about six years ago, uh, a friend of mine used to do that thing where she would come into my boxes yeah. to go, I've got a birthday party tonight, I need a present. Yes. And then she really pushed me to go get started and I started by actually selling the end product. <gasps> and then about three years down the line, I realised that there was really an, uh, um, a lack in the market of, of kits that were well made and so, so you give us basically in this case everything that you need yes. to create this beautiful presents or for the decorations for the home as well exactly you don't have to give them away you can keep them for yourself as well I think that's what I would like to do because we are <laughs> gonna start here in one of the ones that I well everything I in the counter I love 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 now this is to make your own uh, fairy lights kits but there's not just a you know what do we get in here and, and we are going to go through what we get and also the options but um well i'll go through the options first because this is the colorway so then we have got the lavender yes the baby blue and then we have got the baby pink. pink. Now those are the three options, so you choose whichever color. Now in each of those kits you are gonna get, what are you gonna get Leticia? So you're getting 20 die cut flowers uh -huh. and the 20 leaves to go uh, with them. Okay. Uh, you get the needles in that little booklet and uh, the uh, threads on a uh, spool as yeah. well and the glue and yeah. the set of fairy lights to put them on. So the only thing that you need extra is the set of uh, the batteries. It's uh, three AA batteries and what? it's a pair of scissors. Uh, that's it. And I love, and I have to say, like I had a proper look the <laughs> other day and I love how e you even have a book like with a needle in here that you can use it. So therefore you don't misplace it. I also love the fact that you have got, of course, the uh, wooden spools. So once that you use them, you have them for other projects. Exactly. You have got a massive bottle of glitter you will here. have more than enough indeed <laughs> uh, look at that so I'm gonna grab uh, the one that is closest to me because this is the finished project that you will be able to create and look at that it's quite a long one. it's a two meter a um, two meter, so yes and it's battery powered as well so and I it's LED LED lights so yeah. it doesn't heat at all and of course being battery operated it means that you can put it around anywhere anywhere well, anywhere indoors, right? It's, it's not, the battery pack is not waterproof. So really, uh, even under a gazebo, yeah. it's fine as long as it doesn't get in contact yeah. with water. Now I'm thinking because I have got my living room upstairs and it has got like a very big uh, beams. And yeah. then I could wrap it around the beams that they're up. Oh yeah, that would look, that look would lovely. Be amazing. And I love that because uh, you have got, of course, the choice of different, uh, the pink or yeah. the uh, lavender, baby blue. But also I want to show you that uh, Cora's little shop kids come in these boxes. Yes, all of them come in those recycled cardboard boxes. And I know I know a lot of us are crafters and <laughs> that we like the eco-friendly, but we also like to be able to store things, that to do things in the stages maybe or something yes. like that. So I'm going to give you the details. One eight seven. And 936 is your item number. Remember, you choose baby pink, baby blue, or lavender, and that's the color. Weighs 29 pounds and 99 pence is your price plus B and P. Now, we are going to move on to the next one. I'm going to mm -hmm. put it up now, of course. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Now, of course, we have got two options in here. Now, it is that make your own mobile cake, and mm -hmm. we have got the sea creatures option in here. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? And then we have got the option of the, I believe, I'm gonna put it, oh. we're going to put it right beside it <laughs> so we can see it. And then that is the owl. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I love that. And depending where you place the buttons, yeah. you can give it a totally different look. Of course. So if you place it like in the right corner, it looks like it's rolling its eyes. Which is hilarious. And if it looks, if it's dead in the center of the circle, it's it like looks like it's really startled. Yeah, <laughs> so that you have got some creativity there or what. And if you go for more than one, you could have three different owls looking Completely. at you in different ways. So those are the two options. And uh, Leticia, what exactly do we get in here? Uh, so you get, again, all the shapes die cut for you. Mm -hmm. 
and they're all, um, all ready. Uh, I die cut everything because I like things to be exact. Oh, okay. And I think it really, really gives you a, a nicer finish. Yes, it does. Um, all the threads, and you, again, you get large quantities of threads, all on those wooden spool. You get the twine that uh, help you to finish your mobile. Of course. The glass beads. So the glass beads have got <gasps> two functions. First, they um, catch the light uh, and make it yeah. glitter. But also, felt is very light. So the weight of the glass bead helps of course, to weight it down. To weight it to down. have got some center of gravity as well. And again, you get the needle. Yeah. And plenty of toy stuff in. Now, of course, we haven't even referenced in the previous one. Of course, you do get instructions, instructions. step by step, with pictures as well, which it shows you perfectly what to do. And I love as well, again, that beautiful color tones that mm -hmm. you have selected with the thread and those wooden spools. So again, once we finish, you have got something else to exactly. play with. Um, you remember you have got your choice of the uh, or the sea creatures in in one for, for the um, octopus and the owl opt, uh, option as well now uh, your item number six eight five double oh four is your item number 19 pounds and 99 pence is your uh, price now the next one is going to be the garland now the garland is well every single item in this hour is so adorable mm -hmm. now we we come gonna see what the finish uh, end result is gonna be now in here you have got the option of the hearts and or the stars so this one of course is the finish and um, what you will end up doing with the hearts yes it's and the outcome come in pink and grays uh, and white and all those pastel colors that are so lovely they and are and then of course that's the hearts and then we have got the stars I think this is my favorite. <laughs> I love the yellow and it the It is gray. very popular. <laughs> it is. And I love it because uh, it's also for babies, you know, it has no gender association. Exactly, yes. So it is that gender neutral that we like uh, nowadays uh, with that beautiful grays and yellows. So, uh, Leticia, what exactly do we get in these ones then? So a little bit like from the previous one, all the shapes die cut. Yep. Uh, so you have all the series of the large hearts, the small hearts to put on top. Uh, the a large amount yep. of toy stuffing again, yep. um, all the threads. So what I didn't mention so far is the quality of the thread. Yep. They are um, made of exactly the same composition as the felt. So it's part wool, part acrylic. Oh, that, that's a very good point because I remember when we did you, when I w we, we met on Wednesday, yes. <laughs> you were telling me that that's important, isn't it, for the felt and the thread to be the same. It's my favorite thread to oh. work with felt because it tends to sink in and yeah. it stays in place and like a cotton or rayon yeah. thread that may slip out basically. So that's, uh, of course, that attention to detail is what you are getting here from Corey's Little Shop. Leticia, you know, it's an experienced crafter that has sourced it, so you don't have to sort all the different bits and pieces and you may get it wrong, maybe the thread is wrong. No, no, this is exactly as it should be for your ease and also for uh, excellent results. Of course, it has got the instructions in here with a step by step with pictures as well, so you won't be last and you will know exactly how to assemble it step by step. The only thing that we need extra is a pair of scissors. It's a pair of scissors on this kit, yeah. That's fabulous. <laughs> uh, 489355 is your item number. Remember, you have a choice of the stars, which is the yellow and, and gray, as you can see it here, or the hearts, which is the pink and gray. Very elegant color combinations there. And now we are going into embroidery, which is stunning. Now, of course, the stunning, uh, beautiful, beautiful, I, I just have to say, this is amazing. <laughs> we have got here the beautiful embroidery kit. Now, we have got two options in here, I believe. Uh, now, th this is the B, so you can see there. That will be the fit end result that you will achieve. And then we have, look at that. Isn't that amazing? I mean, oh, it's stunning. And then the, uh, the other option you have got is the beetle. And then you can see it there that it has got that beautiful purples coming through as well as the golden in there. Now, um, this is a little bit different from the previous kit. It is very different. This is what I'm originally trained in. Oh, I see. And it's a technique called gold work. Oh, wow. Um, you may have seen it, all the military badges. Yes, of course. The, it's yeah, it's yeah. made out of gold work. Yeah. Uh, a oh. lot of the church ecclesiastical um, yeah. um, yeah, ropes, uh, robes, robes, etc. Yeah. Also, yeah. I've got gold work. Yeah, and the Spanish. Um, well, we are not going to go there, but there is, <laughs> yeah, there, yeah. There is a big, big tradition in Spain. Yeah. Um, and I just use it a little bit in a more modern way. I love it. <laughs> I think it's a stunning. Now, what do we get in this kit then? So in this kit, uh, you will get all your fabric. Mm -hmm. 
uh, including the organza for the wing, which oh. you're not going to yeah. see very well. Uh, some leather, uh -huh. that's for the eyes, and all the felt for the padding. Yes. All the threads that you will need, and they come in like full reels of, of yeah. thread, so you it won't run out. Yeah, so that's a really good quality again. And also... You get a little bit of the stuffing. A little bit of the stuffing that you will need under the thorax of the bee. Uh, yeah. And a little bit of wire. The wires to do the wings, <gasps> so oh, that the I wings see. are detached. Of course, they are. Look at that. And of course, you have got the instructions, because this one is one of those kits that you definitely want to have yeah. the instructions, <laughs> as well as, of course, the templates in here. And I love that they are hand-drawn templates, so mm -hmm. you know they are from you. They are, they are just... They come straight out of my sketchbook. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Now, of course, this is uh, something that uh, maybe for uh, somebody a little bit more advanced or could a beginner start to do it? I mean, I teach these to beginners in okay. workshops, oh, right. so uh, it is feasible by a beginner. Yeah. It is a little bit of an advanced embroidery technique. Okay. It takes a little bit of finesse with the wires, okay. for example. The wires can be a bit fragile, yeah. but it is... It, a beginner can do it. Uh, it is a more advanced technique. Though. Okay, so if it's up to you whether you go for it, remember you have got the option for the bee, and here we are going to have a look, just a little bit of the beetle, because I think you are getting everything you need as well in here. So it's it's all the material. You yeah. will need some tools, things okay. like a hoop, a pair of scissors, etc. Uh, an embroidery hoop. Uh, yes, exactly. Um, but I would expect that kind of people to have that in their kit. Yeah. During the demonstration, I'll show the sizes that you will need. Okay, and of course, the frame is for display purposes, yes. right? Yeah. Yeah, so, of course. so you will put your own frame, but that's good because it means that you can then buy your own frame to suit your style. And like I me, mean, I get uh, quite a few of these, um, mm. you know, you know, from the, I, I, um, you mm. know, that a Swedish store, I get them in bulk <laughs> and then I have got them all to change them around in my artwork. If you are a Freedom member, you have a third of this count. Remember, you choose the bee or the beetle, whichever is your favorite. 31 pounds and 49 pence is your Freedom price, of course, includes P and P. And if you are not a Freedom member, of course you can get a 34, po 34 pounds and 99 uh, p uh, plus uh, PNP. Now I have to tell you that the B is very busy. It is a pro I think it is approaching 20% of the stock mm. already gone. So please do check out your basket is if the B is your chosen one. 316 281 is your item number. Now of course we have seen everything that uh, Leticia has brought us today. But why not jump ahead to the website to see exactly the items and make a selection. We do have some books as well on the show, so if you want, if, if that's what you want to do, uh, if you want to get a little bit of reading material to hone in those embroidery uh, skills, that is fabulous. But we also have got a fabulous deal of the day from the mail shop online, I believe. I do love, uh, sorry, seven day savers, apologies for that. Uh, you know, it's a mail shop online. Of course, you are getting 100% uh, cotton as well as the cotton lining in the hedgehogs. One meter by 54 inches in total and it's perfect for different projects. Um, uh, anyway, so we have got all those products in the show. Of course, we have got also the craft along from Polarity. But now the demonstration. I'm so excited to see, of course, the bee, the beautiful embroidery bundle. Uh, Leticia, so can we see how yes. it works? Yes, so uh, the bee will allow you to work with three different types of gold work wires. Okay. Um, this one is what's called pearl pearl. Okay. And it is basically a wire that is coiled on itself. And this one is actually a little bit of a thicker wire. Yeah. And it's quite rigid. Okay. Um, and uh, the other two wires you're going to use with this are what's called smooth. So a smooth wire yeah. is, um, let me pick up the gold as well is same principle it's a finer wire that has been coiled on itself and it has that shiny yeah, uh, finish yes, yeah. so in the bee we'll be using different types okay. uh, but this one has a shiny finish of course, yeah. so and the way you handle them is um, for the pearl pearl you need to stretch it slightly okay. so that you can catch it on the surface ah, i see it i understand it. now can i ask you a question yeah uh, have you transferred the pattern into the fabric yes so i um I tend to use like a light box or a window oh, will right, yeah. do the job very well. And I use um, like a pencil, nothing to um, like not a 4B pencil, okay, yeah, yeah. So more on the hard harder scale. Size, yeah. um, and so then I just, or something exactly. like that. Exactly. So. The cotton you will have in the kit uh, is fine enough that you will see through very okay. well. Oh, perfect. 
So in your, so this is a six inch hoop, and as you can see, it is big enough mm -hmm. for for this pattern. It can also be displayed in that hoop if you don't want it in the frame. Absolutely, we have got some hoops in the website, so have a look for those. Mm -hmm. And usually, when you work uh, techniques like gold work, you like to have two layers of fabric because okay. it gets quite heavy. So you need that to support it. So of in your course. kit, you will have those two layers, which okay. is a piece of calico. Mm -hmm. uh, that is very strong utilitarian it's, yeah, fabric. Yeah, it is. It is so heavy. Um, it's it's um, heavy weight sort of. Exactly. You know, uh, so and you'll have that white cotton, mm. uh, which is similar to like a patchwork cotton. Uh, of course. It's lovely to work oh with. Oh yeah, that's really lovely. Yeah. 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 And do you keep uh, both fabrics at all time? Yes. So you keep both of your fabric in your main hoop. Uh, so what I'm going to do, so I've prepared this a little bit, I've put my felt padding on, okay. so on your pattern you will have all the three different <laughs> padding that you need. You start with the smaller piece and yeah. then you layer it uh, until you get the bigger piece. You do it small ah. to big to get that smooth the, yeah, finish. Yeah, the smooth and also kind of rounded cabochon Exactly, like, yeah. exactly. Okay. And then that is uh, a piece of pearl pearl that I've already couched down to give myself an outline. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is just do one of the legs. Oh, great. So what I do is that I measure mm -hmm. my, roughly, yeah. my wire, yeah. and then I give myself a little bit more. Okay. I cut, so... It's so about um, how much more? A little bit, maybe about oh, half an inch? Well, yeah, yes. not even that. You have plenty of wires, okay. so uh, it's not going to run out. Yeah. I use um, a pair of scissors that um, is not going to go blunt. So okay. don't use your best embroidery scissors to okay. cut the wires. Use, if you don't have a specific pair of yeah. gold work wires like yeah. I do, uh, gold work scissors yeah. like I do, uh, use an old pair. Yeah. Um, or the paper ones that are blunt. Exactly. You know? yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's a very good point that not to use your finest scissors. For yeah. <laughs> um, so what you need to do with pearl pearl, and that is only with pearl pearl, yeah. you need to stretch it slightly. Okay. So the way I stretch my wire is that I grab both ends yes. between my fingers and I stretch a little ah, bit. Yeah. It doesn't have to be massive, it's yeah. just a little bit. Just a gentle tease. Exactly. If I, for example, I show this with this one that's got a king yeah. in, as I stretch it, Yeah that wire will then become straight again. Ah. That's how I know I've stretched it enough. That's a good point, that's a top tip. Yeah, that's a really good. So now that I've stretched my wire, I've got um, a kink at the yeah. end, so I'm gonna cut that off. Yeah. I'm gonna use the standard polyester thread you've got in your kit, yeah. and you will have that in your kit. And you will have so much left over. <laughs> left over, you'll never need to buy that colour again. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you do a lot of bees and bright <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> a lot of gold work. Um, you use the smallest needle, you'll have two needles in your kit. You use the smallest one for this. You put a knot at the end. Okay. Oh, I like that way that you have done the knot. Oh, a quilt is not. I think that's gold. <laughs> oh, I see. I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm more of a paper crafter, so I'm kind of still learning how to do all the knots. So now I... That is beeswax. Okay. So uh, in order to make my thread run through the wires nicely, ah. I strengthen it with a couple of parts yeah. of beeswax. Okay. Is that absolutely necessary or that's a top tip? It's, it, it is better. It okay. is better because otherwise you may struggle a little bit, okay. but you don't have to use beeswax. Okay. Um, if you're a, a vegan, little bit, yeah, maybe exactly. Yeah, yeah. You can use paraffin wax. Oh, okay. uh, you can use these things called Fred Heaven or okay. things like that that you can use. Um, it's a thread conditioner, really. Thread conditioner. I need to go for and look for that. <laughs> <laughs> so I will come up. Oh, let me use my thimble. Yes. Um, I will come up through the fabric. Yes. If I can grab my needle. Uh, in gold work, we say something, it's never trust a knot. Uh, never trust a knot. So I've yeah. got a knot on my thread, yeah. but I will come up on my line and then do ah. a tiny little stitch back next to it okay. just to secure it to the fabric. Uh, why is that? Why is it is just to make sure that when I'm going to start pulling on it, yeah. that it doesn't come off. Oh, okay. All right. That's so never trust a knot. Exactly. Uh, okay. So I'm lining up my mm. wire. I come yeah. up on one side, I'm trying to see where my needle yeah. is. So if you see yeah. what I'm doing, I am actually angling yeah. my needle. Yeah. 
so that I'm really close to that oh, wire. Okay, yeah. What I want is for those couching thread to disappear. Oh, right, I and I go back in at an angle as well. Okay. And uh, can I show the finished sample? Because it is absolutely gorgeous uh, what you are going to end up doing. And remember, you are getting instructions on a step by a step on how to do it and everything you need to finish this absolutely stunning piece. Of course, um, you know, some tools you may have to get, uh, you know, from your stash and maybe you're going to a frame and that will be your choice. But look at that beautiful, look at that. Gorgeous. Look at the depth of that. Look at that, glorious. And even the leather for here. So anyway, well, it's just kind of, get, we get mesmerized for a while. <laughs> <laughs> so. so in order to get those sharp yeah. angle in the wires, mm -hmm. that's why you're going to need your toolbox. Ah, you need a pair of tweezers. So, yeah. You grab your wires and that is the one time you can be quite mean to it. Okay. And you literally bend it. Ah, I see. That's the only way to get a sharp angle. Okay, so you need a pair of tweezers to just get... Yeah. No. And I will then go back up yeah. and carry on okay. couching my wire. So when you work, yeah. the camera, uh, the mics aren't going to pick that up, but yeah. when you work with Pearl Pearl, yeah. what you want uh -huh. is for that thread to disappear. Okay. So you'll hear a little yeah. pop. Okay. Yeah. And you know that's gone in. Yeah, all right. If so. it's not going in nicely, it's because you're not in the right place. Oh, I see. For it to go yeah. in between the coils. So you need you need to make sure that you hear that click. Exactly. Yeah. And it's very distinctive. I don't know if you can hear it at home, but I definitely can hear it. Yeah, there is a, a click. And then so and that means that the thread is going through the two coils. Exactly. So it's securing. And it, it's securing it and, and also you won't see it. So it looks like you've spent hours catching little beans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it completely disappears there. Yeah, we can see it very clearly uh, there on the screen how it goes through the coil and that disappears there. It's just amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. It's like magical. You see, it doesn't look that it's actually a coil. It looks like it's a beautiful, you know, metal, metal, yeah. you know, you know, um, a chain or something. No, not a chain. The chain would have a whole a tube, a tube, you know, yeah. like I know something like that. But it actually has a tiny coils. Therefore, the thread goes in, hides itself. There it is. Now it disappears. How gorgeous it is. Well, it looks like a, a bead, like the tiny. So that's why cute. it's called pearl, pearl. So it's pearl ah. as a pearl. Of course. No, it's just, just amazing. Oh. And uh, I can see that. Oh, there it is. Of course, uh, remember that the embroidery kit, whether you go for the bee or the uh, beetle, you have got a freedom member's price, which means that you have a further discount as well as not paying the unpay. And here is the beetle, which you can see that the work that uh, Leticia is doing is also at here. You can see it. In the little, I believe that's them. Yeah, look at that. Isn't it amazing? This is cool, yeah, this is nice. It is so nice. Uh, apparently, I'm making no weird noises. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh. getting excited about it, Beetle. Um, <laughs> right. right, so I've gone now to the end of my. Um, of the yeah. leg, yeah. so I will just catch my thread. So I, I don't go through the two layers of fabric. That's why your second layer is very useful uh, as well. I just cru go through the first layer. Okay. Um. And that's all I need. Mm -hmm. And then I can cut my thread. Yeah. Now, on the other side, so Pearl Pearl is one of those wires that doesn't get plunged to the okay, background. Yeah. You just need to cut it to the surface. And again, use the scissors. Use the metal yeah, scissors, yeah. yes. Or the ones that you don't mind, they are blunt. They're gonna, yeah. yeah, because it is metal, yeah. so. Absolutely. Right, yeah. now I'm gonna change my fret color. Okay. And we're gonna go a little bit and show how to do the stripes on, okay. the, on the abdomen. So if I sh may show the instructions uh, of that. So you have got in here the instructions as well. You can see there, like you can see details with pictures. And look at that, you can see it there. I just think it's gorgeous to have a, like a step-by-step -step instructions on how to do every step. I love that. My needle's not playing with me. Okay. Nope. 
Well, that will, if anything is going to happen wrong, it's always going to happen live. Exactly. You know? Yeah, I can thread a needle with my eyes closed, yeah. but not today. Yeah. Well, it is, uh, you know, like it's like the same thing with time. Timing also is very flexible on, on, on TV. You're thinking that, oh, it's not, you know, it goes very quickly and then it goes very slow. And then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to tell you that, of course, the bee, the bee is very, very popular. A quarter, nearly a quarter of the stock has already gone. I'm going to finish, uh, you're going to show you a finished sample of the beautiful i mean look at that effect and i just think it's, it's it's such an amazing cake to learn all that will you know that work and this is very different techniques how many different techniques is in this in this oh uh between the stump work wings the chipping the lever the pearl pearl the smooth and the back stitch and the what's called turkey knot stitch on the on the thorax of yeah. the bee about seven or eight. Seven or eight. Can you imagine getting this a uh, kid for thirty four ninety nine? You can learn all these different techniques mm. and all uh, very specific uh, techniques as well that you can then, I suppose, use for other little insects as oh, well. Oh, the uh, the bit that is on the thorax that looks a yeah. little bit furry. Yeah. I created a panda oh. that is all done in that stitch. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it's fantastic to do furry animals, That's for example. So cute. <laughs> right. So, so, so again, I thread this time with black. Yes. And I'm coming up where my felt is, yeah. and again, I'm not trusting a knot, so I'm no. doing my anchoring stitch. Okay. The technique now is called cut work. Okay. So I'm going to use the other wire. Yeah. Um, it comes in much longer bits yeah. in your case. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, these are just little bit of leftovers. And the idea is to cut, so that wire is also coiled on itself, but it's a lot finer. Yeah. This one is a little bit more fragile. Okay. Uh, you don't need to stretch it. Okay. And it's hollow, so you yeah. will be threading it through. Ah, okay, I see. Okay. So I need, from where yeah. my needle's coming up, yeah. to measure straight across that little bit of wire. And I cut it exactly to the dimension I need it. Okay. If the first time you cut it, it's not quite right. Do not throw it away. Keep it on the side. For the smaller. Because for the smaller bit, you may need <laughs> it later on. Yeah. Now, sorry, I did touch it without um, asking That's permission. Okay. But I just wanted to feel it. <laughs> <laughs> because I wanted to feel the difference. And it's definitely a difference. You can feel yes. the both between It both is a lot, a, a lot softer yeah. than the other one. So the needle yeah. uh, will go through it. It yeah. looks like it yeah. may not, but it will. So you do thread it through. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then you lay it across. Yes. And you go down on the other side okay. of so your felt. So this is the one that, re of course, you need to cut it beforehand perfectly because otherwise exactly. the thread, you know, you have to... Otherwise yeah. you will not have that yeah. perfect domed ish effect. Absolutely. Now you come back next to where you started. Yeah. So you go one way and then one the other way. One way the other yeah. way. Uh, I call that a satin stitch motion. Satin, yeah. Because that's what you do when you and do satin, satin stitch. Yeah. And is that important, rather? It yes. will make it smoother. It will make it smoother. It will give you tension. Uh, so it's really important. OK. Mm -hmm. so I'm learning so much and I'm enjoying this. And I, th I just think it's such a cool thing to, to do. I said, if you ever have wondered how, you know, this gold work works and how to do a little bit of embroidery, three dimensional, I think this case would be perfect because you are going through so many different um, techniques. And remember, you are getting the instructions and pictures on how to make them. And then how beautifully it's going to look in your home. I'm also thinking this for a cover of an art journal or something like that it is a little bit fragile when oh, it's okay. finished so not something you're going to press on because you oh, will I damage see. your wire oh, I see. so it is not really good for like um cushions oh, or things like that it's better to be a little bit careful yeah so a frame it would be better yes. or something like that but, yeah, I'm just gonna, oh, that's gorgeous. so do not be tempted when your wire is here to just go go okay. back in and then pull it with your thread you will damage the wire okay so so it is important to really push it down okay close to the fabric before okay. you go back on the other so side so with this wire gentleness is the key is the key with this one yes okay so and then imagine. that's gorgeous 
So what you do is three rows of gold yeah. and then three rows of black and then three rows of gold mm. and three rows of black. Uh, can I touch the black one? Of as course, well? go for it. It's just it because I touched it because I kind of when I first saw it, I thought it was just a leather um, cord. Yeah. Because it fit and but then as soon as you touch it, you do feel it that it's a yeah. bit the thinnest of metal and it has got a and then of course. If you do three of the uh, black and three of, uh, let me kind of, I wanted to show you the here. You can see that how gorgeous that's, that's this catch the light. And you can see, I mean, it's very much like the, you know, the bees that have got the light reflecting. Exactly. Into the, the, isn't that just gorgeous? And at the bottom, you then do several blacks to just finish yeah. off. Yeah. Uh, that's absolutely stunning. Now, of course, I'm going to let you to set reset uh, for mm -hmm. the next demo, and I'm going to show because we have mentioned freedom. So here is Janice to tell you about more how freedom works. Hello, everyone. I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom, you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member, which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts. They tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family and that makes a lot of sense of course saving uh, saving a lot of money in post posting and packaging but also with a uh, freedom prices in some of the items now of course a course little shop is a brand new arrival here at hochanda and leticia puts together this amazing case in which you can create for instance this one the first one we are going to start with this beautiful fairy lights uh, case now in here you are going to get everything that you need except like the batteries for the fairy lights but um to create these beautiful garlands with those gorgeous flowers now uh, just let me tell you about exactly the choices of colors that you have got so in here we have got the baby blue which is that glorious uh, blue tones into the into uh, the felt now of course you will be uh, then you have got the baby pink which is that a beautiful soft tones of the pink and then finally the lavender one which is that one this one that I'm showing now of course what do you get in this kit now of course you are going to need 20 of the flowers uh, that are already die cut and 20 of the leaves in that beautiful sage green. Uh, you are getting a bottle of glitter glue with uh, iridescent glitter. Uh, then you are getting this thread, uh, two reels in here. You can see that it's matching colors. Then you are getting the, even the needle to uh, assemble it all together. But of course, that fairy lights that is LED, so it doesn't get hot, so it's absolutely safe. But also, you are, of course, you're getting the, the instructions on how to assemble everything so you can see in here you can see that you can see there the instructions by step by step now what I love about this is that everything has been selected to work together so the thread is uh, the same composition as the file so it's not gonna slide up it's gonna be easy to assemble
everything together. Also, what I love is that the fact that you, um, you because it's op uh, battery operated, you can put it anywhere indoors uh, as well. As long as the water doesn't hit it, it will be absolutely fine to have these beautiful flowers, perfect for a birthday party or something. Um, wait, can I open it so you can see the full length? Now, I'm making a model that is typical, Paula. Maybe I shouldn't have picked that one up. Um, now, but I have to say, this is not like Christmas, uh, you know the, the, the tree, the Christmas tree that they all get into model. This doesn't happen. Now you are getting two meters, which is way longer. Oh, Jamie, by the way, this is the introduction to a new floor uh. manager, Jamie. Uh, now you can see that you are getting two, f uh, two meters of that. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. Uh, big screen there view for our Jamie. We are very happy to have him here. Um, now, of course, uh, if you want to go for the make your own fairy light kits, you are going to get everything you need except those batteries at 187936. And remember, you is your choice of baby pink, baby blue or lavender. The most popular is the pink, I believe. 29.99 plus P&P is your price. Now, of course, if you are a Freedom member, you do not pay uh, P&P. Now, of course, we have got another make your own and it's a beautiful uh, kit. Now, of course, we have got two options for you. Now, we have got the sea creatures with oh i love the octopus isn't that the cutest cutest octopus ever with the eyelashes of course and now you will this is will be what you will end up doing uh, and look at the fish with the se sequence of catch slide oh amazing now that's the sea creatures and the other option you have got is the owl in here now look at that and i love this mawa because this is the sort of thing that you can put in so many different ways so you can display behind the door you can put it in, in, in a window you can put it in the uh, stairs like you know the banner the banister is called yeah. Uh, yeah maybe even in a picture you know those frame boxes that you can hang it up and then or of course you can put it over maybe a baby mobile at the, uh, on top of the cot there are so many ways of using a vase and displaying proudly also, I'm thinking that some of these elements could be uh, quite cool as a keychain. You know those chunky ones that you want to have to find. So that could, so you can make it your own and as well. But of course, what do you get in the kit? is actually every shape that is pre die cut uh, all the stuffing you are getting the of course the uh, s the embroidery and sewing thread as well as the needle in this booklet so you don't miss uh, you don't misplace it you have got the sequins the twine and of course those beads that make it the mobile a little bit heavier so then it kind of has got a center of gravity meaning that it will rotate and as you can see like a proper mobile now the item number is six eight five a double o for 19 pounds and 99 pence is your ch is your price and you choose the sea creatures or the uh, owl now we have got the garland next and we have got some hearts for you uh, and some stars uh, stars and hearts who you know uh, of course uh, some uh, mm, valentine's day is coming up soon so if you want to um, craft with romance in your mind this is a perfect kit for you <laughs> Uh, not that I have romance in my, head, in my mind or in my heart or any, any parts of me. But anyway, <laughs> here you have got those beautiful soft pinks and greys and whites in here. And of course, it contains everything that you need to create this. All the hearts pre die cut, so you don't have to do any cutting. The only thing that you will need extra is a pair of scissors. The embroidery thread or the, the sewing thread that is perfect composition for the fell, the stuffing, as well as those beads and the baker's twine. The other option that you have got, if you want to have a more of a kind of all year round, I think this one is beautiful with those yellows and pink grays, mm, very elegant, um, and at the same time quite perfect for any house. Uh, this is the option that you have got here, the stars. Of course, everything is pre-cut for you, and the instructions are included, so you are not going to be lost on what to do next. Four eight nine three five five is your item number. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence plus BNP. Now our most popular item. This during this hour is of course is the embroidery kit and of course I am you know mesmerized by the detail now uh, the uh, B option has already uh, you know a third of the stock has already gone and what you are getting here is all the techniques or 
the instructions for all the techniques to create this absolutely stunning bee. Or if you want to go for the beetle, you will get uh, the equivalent. Now, you have got the patterns, the templates, the instructions on all that beautiful work. Now, I need to, I, I'm a very, I think it's a very tactile uh, craft now because you are working with coiled wire, you are working with organza, you are working with leather, you are working with, um, with felt, you are working with all these different techniques and different materials that gives you a kind of, I think it's a perfect, you know, when you want to get into something different, but that's something that is, you know, that it has got a lot of, well, second, maybe legs, you know, kind of something that you know you can grow and develop and you can display proudly at home. Remember, the instructions and templates are included in the kit. 316-281 is your item number. 34 pounds and 99 pence is your price. Remember that you are getting everything that you need to create this element in here, whether it's the bee or the beetle, which is absolutely stunning. And it has got the purples as well, which is makes it like even, almost you're kind of thinking, is it a dragonfly? Is it a beetle? Is, what is it? It's absolutely stunning. Uh, do, uh, you know, check out your manuscripts for whichever option you want. Uh, or why not go to the website to see exactly what um, Leticia has brought us here from her own chorus little shop. Now, of course, you have got there and you have got those options for the stars or the uh, hearts or the, um, the stars and the hearts are the uh, garland. Of course, there is uh, there are some embroidery um, books as well on the website and that's seven day savers from the mill shop online which you are getting two pieces of cotton the, the cotton with the hedgehogs as well as the cotton lining you are getting one meter by 54 inches i believe and I, for 11.99 which is absolutely bargain and anything that uh, you know when i see patterns like that i always think maybe you could apply the techniques that you have learned learn from Leticia. you know that sort of embroidery and then do the little nose and then do mm -hmm. some freehand um you know all those techniques but to learn those techniques you need to go for the kit because it, con it contains all the instructions printed with a step by step so then it's kind of something that starts you off and that beautiful arts now we have got of course one of the um, beautiful fairy line uh, fairy lights yes so I'm going to show you how to stitch one flower okay and uh, give you a little bit of hints and tips and how are you do it. One of the thing I forgot to mention is that the fairy lights have got two settings. Okay. So it's fixed light or it's flashing lights. Oh, I see. So, okay, no, if you want the one in the okay. middle and it's flashing. Okay, so do, do we need to add, 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 add say that something about flashing lights? <laughs> no, <laughs> yes. we're gonna play flashing Sorry. lights. So <laughs> just gonna say, you know. Look, have Ah. And if your light starts flashing when it, they're in fixed mode, it's because the battery needs replacing. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Look at that. I mean, I'm thinking this is just so nice. If you are just putting, um, you know, having dinner, like a nice dinner with your friends for dinner, and putting them around the table. Oh, yes, as a table center. It will yes. look real. But also, if you have got a little girl's bedroom, I've got a friend of mine that uses three sets of these to just light the nursery. And that's ah. all she uses. She's got no other lights, just these. Oh, <laughs> but that's really nice because it is quite, um, it, you, you don't want harsh light. You exactly. want atmosphere. You want a, a subtle light. And this, yeah. of course, is perfect. And of course, then you can say, oh, you know, you, I have made those beautiful yes. flowers. <laughs> that's brilliant. Right, so, so how do we, what do we do? Each flower comes as a spiral. Mm -hmm. And as we said, it's all cut for you. Yeah. Um, I start my spiral flowers yeah. from the middle. Okay. Other people start it from the end, but yeah, I, I start it from the middle okay. because I knit this pad yeah. in the middle okay. to put the glue on. Ah, I see. That's so you, why. Yeah, you need like a concave that thing. Yeah. So I put yeah. my spiral together. So that's simple. So that mm. is simple enough. Yeah. I think yeah, for, for, uh, from a paper uh, point of view with the sorts of flowers, I uh, do the other way around. But I kind yes. of understand why this, you would do it Yeah, because way. you want the pad at the, the back. The pad, yeah. yeah. You want the <laughs> concave kind of center. Yeah. yeah. So mm. I've got green thread in my needle, but mm. it is for camera purposes. Okay. You will use your matching okay. thread. Yeah. So this, that is so you can see exactly the stage. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I've got a knot yeah. at the end. Yeah. I'm coming through the center, yeah. from the center to the outside, yeah. all the way through. Yeah. It doesn't have to be pretty stitching yeah. because it's going to be hidden. 
and is very functional at this stage. Okay. So I go back from the middle all the lay through all the layers yeah. to the outside and I go all the way around. Yeah. You should be able to go all the way around in about four or five stitches. Okay. So that's quite quick, isn't it? It is very quick to put together. You can put all the flowers together in about an hour and a half. Oh, that's good. It's the gluing that takes yep. the most time. Okay. <laughs> so now that I'm near the end of it, yeah. I come back through next yeah. to the end. Yeah. And okay. I catch it a couple of times, yeah. just the edge, yeah. Yeah. to secure it. Yeah. I go underneath to form a loop. Okay. And I go a couple of times through that loop yep. to form a knot, and yep. I pull. Now, in order to make sure that thread, uh, that knot will stay where yep. it is, I bury my thread back in the felt. Yeah. And then I can cut it. Okay. Uh, so that's your flower done. I love it. I love it. It's like a little uh, water lily, or yep. or it's a fancy flower, but it's just gorgeous. Now I attach my leaf. So what I tend to do is preparing all my yeah. flowers. And of course, uh, I love that you give us uh, everything comes in that box that you can then put, keep them like, you know, if you're doing it at the stage, you can have them like this. Yeah, at the end of the evening, yeah. you can just put them back in the box and waiting for you to get back to yeah, it. Because of course, they, you can fold them like this and then yeah. the next day will come up perfectly. Come, yeah. <laughs> And I love any crafts that it leaves you, l lets you to do a little bit every day. Yes. And then you build, you know, all together. Mm. So for my leaf, I fold it in half yep. and roughly in the middle, I cut a little bit. Yep. That will allow me to thread the light through. Ah, okay. so. I place my flower in the middle. Yep. I anchor my thread. Again, in the inside, so in the inside. Yeah. I'm using pink for the camera to register, yeah. but you'll be using uh, the, the, the green. green. And I just catch uh, yeah. the, um, the edge yeah, of each, edge, yeah. each petal, mm -hmm. basically. And that will, uh, so that will make it more of a cup. It, right? ma yeah, it makes it more yeah. as a cup yeah. and it gives it a nice shape. Yeah. So I tend to do it in one movement, basically. Okay. So I come back in and out on the other yeah. side, then yeah. back and through the other leaf. Yeah. And I go all the way around, catching each yeah. edges. Okay. Uh, and if they go a little bit like on top yeah. of each other, it's not a problem because it really gives it a bit of shape. Yeah. OK. Once I've reached the end, yep. I do the same thing I did with the flower. Yep. Go through a couple of times. Yep. And then underneath yep. and a couple of times to make a knot. Yep. And I bury my thread. Okay, oh, that's gorgeous. That's so lovely. And that's so, si I mean, it is quite simple. It doesn't require, if you want, I think this is quite, can be quite mindful as well. Yes. For me, I would find it personally very mindful because you learn how to do one and you pay attention mm -hmm. and then you do the rest and, the, and it's just quite, re it's, it's, uh, sounds, it sounds bad to say, but repetitive is it, it's kind of. But it's good for you. It's good for <laughs> you because if it, your mind focuses on that and you already know what to do. So then it becomes that, you know, kind of uh, automatic, but mindful you yeah know, i do like and of course the, the different options are remember that you have got the different options the baby pink is in which is uh, in the lead i believe then you have got the lavender of course which is a gorgeous soft uh, purple in here that you have got the lavender um and then finally of course you have got the baby blue now the one in the screen is the lavender and of course then you have got the blue in here i love that you can then wrap and around maybe like i was saying like the beans in the house um and then because the, it, it is a good point that because it's battery operated you mentioned that you can put it anywhere yeah. that the water doesn't hit and i'm thinking there are places where there is quite dark uh, but you cannot put a, a, a bulb, light bulb or exactly. electricity and yeah. then this is a great way mm. of different and because it's led it doesn't use a lot of energy either Absolutely. so the batteries last forever yeah well, forever as in, uh, as, in <laughs> as in, yeah, yeah for a long time. <laughs> for a long time. Yeah. Right, so yeah. to attach the flower, so the glue has got two purposes. First, yeah. it gives that extra bit of boost to the light ah, because yes. of the glitter. Of course. And also it attaches the flower 
to the fairy ah, lights. I see. But I would not only trust the glue. Okay. So I also stitch them on. Okay. <laughs> All right. So again, I'm using pink thread, but you'll be using green. Okay. I unfolded the fairy light. Yeah. I thread the light through. Okay. And then I'm getting so tangled. you go through. You remember that, of course. The uh, if I put it, show it like this, mm -hmm. you can see it. The uh, flower has got already that that pattern in here, that center. That so then it will go through it. Perfectly. Exactly, and that's why I cut a hole before putting it on. On the green, yeah. I hold the uh, the light with yeah. my fingers, so I know it's at the right depth. Yeah. And I lay my f um, the wire yeah. at the back. Uh, giving it a little bit of a give. Yeah, so a little arch. Exactly. And I go over yeah. the wire, not through it, yeah. over it. Okay, so... If it's playing. Yeah, it always plays. <laughs> Life and air plays, love to play, have play. TV the view for the lights as well, so... Yeah, of exactly. They have to, you know, they have to be... They have nerves noticed. as well. <laughs> They're not sure. And I do that on both sides. So yeah. that it, it will attach it to the wire. Yeah. So if ever it gets unstuck, at least you're not going to lose that flower. Perfect. Yeah, that's it. And that's I a manipulate good. them and take them at shows, etc. Yeah. So it happens. Yeah, <laughs> it does. And to stop my thread, again, the same thing. Yeah. I go underneath, couple of time through, and yeah. bury my thread. Okay. And that is how you secure course the cable yeah now of course you have got instructions on how to do it's this with the every kit so I'm just gonna show you to you that you will have here so you will have got here the instructions on how are you gonna do that as well so now of course then what you do the next step then um, you just mm -hmm. glue the center yeah um, it's better to put uh, a, a small layer of glue yes let it dry for about a day then come back to it, put another layer of glue because you will see holes appearing. Ah, of course, it kind of same thing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, usually three to four layers is enough. Okay. Um, I like the fact that it drops a little bit organically yeah, into the does. flower. Yeah, it does. It looks like the, water. Yeah. <laughs> and I, it's true what you were saying about the light reflecting and it kind of gives you more light by like exactly. having that glitter in there, the iridescent glitter. Of course, it is our Corey's Little Shop Make Your Own Fairy Lights Kit. You are going to get everything that you need, including the fairy lights, but uh, the only thing that you need to, to put on your own is those batteries, those triple A, uh, no, sorry, double A batteries yes. that you need. 187 at 936. Now, of course, you can refer to the website which is the best way to know exactly the options that you have got in there maybe the star ga uh, garland maybe the beautiful embroidery kits it's up to you of course which one is your favorite and remember that there are options al along the line so you know you then you can see in detail exactly what you are getting and what you can make with of course the beetle embroidery kit is very fabulous and very popular indeed as is and there you can have it in your basket and there you have it ready to check out now of course well, we kind of uh, display, of course, we are going to start with the fairy lights case in here. Now, Leticia, I it, this is a great, uh, for somebody who has never done crafts before, this would be a good, a good thing. That is a really good starter um, because the needles is quite a big needle, so you're not going to struggle threading it. Um, and it's working with felt is so easy. So what do we get in here then? So we get 20, um, 20 flowers uh, that have been already cut, 20 leaf to go with them, uh, the uh, needle, mm -hmm. uh, the threads, uh, the glue and the fairy lights themselves. Of course. So you have got three options uh, that you are going to, so your choice is to go whether you want a lavender color, which is a beautiful, I love this lavender. I'm not a purple person, but I love this lavender. Uh, I think it's not probably my favorite. Then, well, or the pink. Then you have got the blue, and then of course you have got the baby pink uh, option, which uh, I do like pink. Um, so you can see there how it kind of comes. And once that you finish, you will have this beautiful two meter long uh, 20 uh, lights in here now 187936 is your item number 29 pounds and 99 pence is your price now of course um you have got then make your own mobile kit now you have got two options you have got the beautiful the cute friendly uh, octopus here which is under the sea uh, or sea creatures which sea one creature. sea creatures sorry <laughs> <laughs> sea creatures of course you have it and then uh, we have got the owl option so you Oh, it's not turning. 
there's no turning. There's yeah, always one go. for turning. Uh, you know, he, he's shy. <laughs> he's so shy. So now. But that's what it shows. I, li I like that because it shows you how, you know, in the movement, of course, the movement that has got the mm. owl. Now, of course, you have got included in here the beads as well. The beads to give it some weight. They're glass beads. Uh, yeah, the the, the they're glass beads, yeah. yeah. They, they yeah. do uh, the weight and that kind of, that kind of is, is what it gives that rotation as well. Of course, you have got everything die cut in here. Yes, everything's die cut. Um, so you've got those perfect shapes. Uh, you've got the buttons, uh, the twine, the toy stuffing, the threads and the needle. And as far as that, those instructions, step by step instructions, so you know how to do it. I love how you can even make him like he's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like that. So there are so many different ways on how to make those eyes in there. If you mm -hmm. remember, sea creatures or owl, 685004 is your item number, 19 pounds and 99 pence plus PNP is your price. Now, of course, well then we have got the garlands and I think this is just so pretty and detailed and just, just something to have at home of course in here you have got the option of the hearts like that let's look I love that and then we have got the heart and then we have got the start option so remember you choose whether you want to go the start look at that how cute I love these stars they're kind of quite contemporary choice. Yes, and and the, the stitching on top is all back stitch. Okay, so and that's really really easy to do, and um, you can do whatever you can go well. You can put a lot more than I did on my sample. <laughs> now, of course, uh, the item number four eight nine three five five is your item number nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence plus P and P. Uh, choice of a star, of course, of the heart. Then, of course, we have got the most popular, uh, the B. I just adore this. This is quite close to your heart, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. That is actually the beetle was the first kit I ever created really and then the bee came second oh. <laughs> the bee is actually the most popular option oh. and then nearly <laughs> half of the stock has already gone and you have you're selling like six or seven different techniques that are yes. here. Which, and you, of course, you are getting everything that you need uh, except the, the toolkit, basically, that you will provide. But the toolkit could be an embroidery hoop, you scissors. Need two sizes of embroidery hoop, mm. one six inch, one four inch. inch okay. And uh, um, gold work scissors, if you have them, or an old pair. Or an old pair. Or yeah. paper scissors. And of course, you have got the instructions in here. By you can see by step by step instructions as well as the templates for the, uh, you know, the a B as well as you have got the option for the beetle which is stunning I mean look at all that work can you believe you can learn these incredibly arts and techniques 316281 is your item number remember you have got a freedom prize and remember to check out those baskets now Leticia it's been an absolute pleasure I have learned so much from you <laughs> hope you are going to be back very very soon thank you yeah <laughs> it is do check out your baskets as well I do, I do keep watching Hotan that we have got amazing shows